Hey everybody, happy Friday. Uh, it is fabulous to see you, not really, uh, because I'm doing Ask Deb a little differently today. Today is going to be a recorded Ask Deb, since I will be on an airplane uh, on my way um, across the country. I decided that this was an important enough topic that I wanted to make sure that you got it, but I'm gonna do it in a pre-recorded setting. So what are we doing today? We're gonna talk about the fact that New Year's always brings up for people something that's really important. They have this feeling inside of them that they want something different in their life, right? I want different results. I want this to be the year that, that I get recognized and I walk across stage at convention and I want this to be the year where I break through that glass ceiling and I step into the next level of leadership and, and I'm recognized for that. I want this to be the year that I finally break through all the financial struggle and I reach that level of more than enough. I want this to be the year that I start attracting those, those powerful, independent, self-starter kind of business builders that make the business fun and we can run together and have a true team. Right? So in other words, it's like this is the year and I want all of those things to occur. But and here's really where things always fall apart, right? I really have no idea where to start. See, what happens to so many of us is we do everything we're taught, right? We follow the rules. We, if somebody lays out a course, we follow it, right? We, we lay out the structure. We do the things we're supposed to do. But it's still not working. We're not getting the results we want to get. Well, today, I want to talk to you about where to begin. Where to begin? Where do you get started in creating the kind of change that is absolutely required to get you where it is you really want to go? So welcome everybody to Ask Deb. If you uh, have never seen me before, Ask Deb before, let me introduce myself. I'm Deb Erickson, and I'm the business mindset coach to the network marketing elite around the world. And what I teach is I focus on women, and I show women Here's how your brain is wired very differently than men. And here's how that wiring might be getting in the way of you creating the business success that you really want. And so if you're a woman and you are here and you're watching this, I'm going to assume for one second that you want something that you don't currently have in your business, whatever that is, maybe ease around recruiting, right? Or confidence around sponsoring or you know, that easy flow and lots of people to that fill your pipeline to keep your enrollments even and flowing. In other words, there's something you want that you don't have. And when you come to the new year, what usually happens is people go, you know what? <laughs> I want something different. I want this to be different. I'm sick of it being the same. But I don't know where to start. And I don't know what to do to get the ball rolling. I'm already doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. I just, I just don't know what's next. Okay. So if that's you, you've come to the right place. So do me a favor and um, share this recording into your Facebook group and with those people in your organization that you know need to hear this. In other words, they've been complaining, they've been talking, they've been dreaming, they've been saying, oh, I want more and I just don't know what to do because we're gonna to talk today about two simple decisions that will radically change your business, I promise you. So I'm gonna start by telling you a personal story. You know, I have struggled with my weight my entire life. I was sexually abused as a kid and I became bulimic and um, I struggled with eating disorders for years um, because I, I really, needed body fat to protect me, I thought. That was the way my brain had it wired. And when everybody in the world tried to put me on diets and control what I could consume or not consume, it was the one thing, right, that I could find a way around it and could control in my life. And so it became a friend. It became my partner in the process. Until well, I will say this, my whole adult life, I have played with gaining and losing, right? Losing and finding, so to speak. And so I'd lose 50 pounds and put on 60. I'd lose 20 and gain 35. 
And what happened over the period of, period of time is it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And then I'd lose a bunch of weight and I'd maintain it for a little while and then slowly it all creep back. And I noticed a couple of really specific things. One of them is that the scale was never my friend. And here's why, because when the scale said, woohoo, you lost some weight, then my brain would say, uh-oh, we're not safe. We're not safe if we lose weight and we lose it too fast and we're not heavy enough, then it probably means I'm not safe and secure. So when I was successful, the scale actually, looking at the scale actually sabotaged my success. And when I wasn't successful and I didn't lose weight, then I would beat myself up. And so what I have discovered is that there are certain things along the journey that just don't support my success. You guys get it. And so years ago, I pretty much gave up looking at the scale because I, I know it doesn't help me, but I didn't change anything else. I stopped doing that one thing that was kind of beating me up, but I didn't do anything else. And so I, I just kept getting heavier. Well, last summer, I had an experience where I was going to go on vacation and I pulled my back out. And when I wrenched my back, um, I was in horrible pain the entire time that I was supposed to be sitting on the beach in La Jolla, just enjoying and filling back up. I was in major pain and incredibly uncomfortable, but also so stubborn headed that I was like, I am not going home, right? I absolutely will not leave because I knew that I absolutely wanted, um, I absolutely wanted to, uh, let me stop that. Um, I wanted to have an experience and I needed to fill back up again, right? So it's like I wasn't leaving. So as I sat there, <laughs> clenching my teeth, right? I was like, ah, oh! I started thinking about my life and my body. And what I realized was I'm 62 and the path I'm on, my body's only going to get worse. It's going to deteriorate. It's going to be harder and harder to move. It's going to be more uncomfortable when things don't go well. And I could see getting older in this frame of reference wasn't going to help me. And it was, it was one of those wake up moments where I decided that, you know what, no matter what, I've got to make a change. I made change non-negotiable that day. You guys get it? It's non-negotiable. We don't argue about it. We're not going to talk about it. <clears throat> I'm not going to let the doubt and the negative and the fear doesn't get a voice anymore. It's non-negotiable. Change will occur. And what followed that day on the beach, that decision, were a whole bunch of little decisions that began to line me up, right, to completely restructure my health and my body. So that was about six months ago, and the journey has been the easiest journey I have ever engaged in because I'm not in a diet, I'm not resisting, I am not forcing, I'm operating from a different mindset. You guys get it. So the mindset is that health is non-negotiable. Taking great care of myself, non-negotiable. So. I decided that day two, two things. I was going to release something and I was going to embrace something, right? The thing I was going to release was the most destructive, the most destructive thing that I knew I engaged in, which was sugar, right? Because I knew that, man, I get hooked into sugar. It's like crack and I can't stop and, I, and I'm obsessed and it's, you know, it, it's like sugar is bad for my brain. It's bad for my body. It's poison to my system. And I decided that's it. I'm going to give up sugar. I actually decided I'm giving up white stuff, breads, pastries, sugars, all that. Give it up. And what was really interesting is I've, I've tried to avoid these things in the past but they were always looming, right? And it was like, I said no temporarily, but it, you know, they got me eventually. And, and this decision was different because it was a decision that non-negotiable, I will not have sugar. I'm going to release it. I'm going to let it go. It's out of my life. It's unimportant. And then I made a second decision, something that I wanted to embrace. 
right? And so the embracing is a new mindset, a new attitude, a new behavior, a new commitment. And that was that I was going to change my brain around the issue of safety. So instead of thinking that fat was my safety zone, I was going to recognize that I was safe no matter what size of body I was in. Safety was my birthright. Safety was my identity. Safety and security was what I am and who I am and nothing can rattle that. And so I started doing self-hypnosis and meditation and visualization and affirmations. I bombarded my brain with this message. So that's what I embraced. And what I released was sugar. You guys see just these two simple little decisions. And from that, what I began to see is a, a, was a radical shift in my mindset, my attitude, my commitments, my behavior. Everything began to change. I still don't get on the scale, but I can tell that my clothes sizes have dropped a couple sizes. I can see it, you know, as I look into a camera, I can see the difference. So I know that my daily commitment, my absolute musts are making a change in my life. So let's talk about your business. And let me ask you this. What are the things that you absolutely positively must must release. What is the, what is the one thing that gets you? What's the one thing that if you know that if you made that change, if you released something, it could be doubt, it could be fear, it could be hesitation, right? It, it could be in the act of recruiting that what happens is that you see somebody you want to engage with, you know, they would be amazing. And then you hesitate and you talk yourself out or you let people's imagine your imagination of people's judgments and, and crosstalk about you, you let that stop you or you let your own internal fear get in the way. There's something that is stopping you, something that's sabotaging you, something that is literally poisonous to your business. What I want you to do is stop for a second and I want you to acknowledge what that is and then I want you to write it in comments, right? I want you to interact and I want you to say, this is the thing that gets me and I am going to commit today to release it, right? I'm going to make a decision like Deb's decision on the beach. I'm going to make a decision today that I'm going to let this go. This is non-negotiable. I refuse to have this in my life. I will not entertain this thought. I will not, uh, I won't, I won't coddle this emotion. I will not allow this to be in my life. I won't let it be a player starting today, gone. Okay, non-negotiable, I must make this change. You gotta go that far, guys. You gotta, you gotta let go of the thing that is poisonous to your business. You know what that is? Write it down, everybody needs it. And then here's the second thing, is that I want you to think about what you're going to embrace. What's the thing that you are going to welcome into your life? What's the activity you commit to do every single day it, it would be like eating, like breathing, like sleeping. In other words, every day you're committed, this is going to happen. You're not going to go to bed until it's done. That's how committed you are. Is it that you want to reach out and make a phone call or you want to message five people today or you want to do a Facebook Live three times a week or you're going to... Or, or you're going to send out these emails. You're going to invite people to a party. Or you're going to, you're going to, in, what are you going to do every single day in your business? What is the absolute non-negotiable positive plus activity? It should be a business building activity. It should be an income producing activity. It should be something that really makes a difference in your life. So scrolling Facebook doesn't count, right? It doesn't count. In fact, that may be the thing you're going to let go of. It, maybe you let go of scrolling because scrolling makes you feel bad about yourself. And what you're going to embrace is what? What is it? What is going to be the thing that you say, that is non-negotiable. If I get nothing else done today, I will do that one thing. That one activity that is a business building activity, it is an income producing activity, is a, it is a life altering a business growth activity that is life altering. What is it? Make a commitment, write it down. And now you have these two. You have these two non-negotiable absolute commitments that are going to radically change your business. Now, I have to tell you my two 
radically changed me because as I made the commitment to release sugar and I made the commitment that I was going to move towards seeing, shifting that mental framework that said I'm safe all the time, every, every day, always, no matter what, I'm safe being me, right? As I made these two shifts, there was a compounding effect. So every day I felt more confident. Every day I was like winning the battle against that thing that took me under, right? Every day it got easier. Every day I felt stronger. Every day I felt better. Every day I began to connect the dots and help my brain recognize that if I can do this, what else can I do? And I have to tell you that after six months, six months of holding my commitments, even through the holidays, right? Holding my commitments so that I absolutely know that when I say I will not, I won't. And when I say I will, I will. And I know it and I can feel it. And my energy is bigger and bolder. I have to tell you that the benefit is far bigger than having lost some weight. Far bigger than just feeling better in my body. Far better, far bigger than whatever the little now is. I've got something way more valuable. And you know what it is? It's this knowing that when I say I'm going to change, that I know I can put the pieces in play. And these two little I'm not going to do this and I am going to do this. These two little decisions have now grown and sprouted into dozens of things I'm giving up and because I don't need them anymore and dozens of things I'm adding into my life because it enhances my life, right? And so I've got more confidence. And now what's happened is the change is picking up speed. The change is growing even stronger. The growth is happening quicker because... One little commitment turned into two, turned into four, turned into eight. There is a doubling, a compounding effect in your business. I want you to commit today to whatever it is that you are ready to release and whatever it is you are ready to embrace, commit today. Commit today that that's absolutely what you're going to do. Make sure you write it down. Tell your friends. And then your next step, guys is to simply surround yourself with people who believe in you, people who support your decision, people who are encouraging you to become more, to have more, to achieve more, to step into your greatness, to share that with the world. You guys got it? You can become the woman you were born to be starting today with two simple decisions. What are you going to let go of, non-negotiable, and what are you going to embrace? You guys got it. I hope that you will join me in classes and coaching and everything that you need to grow your business, to shift your mindset, and to literally become the woman you were born to become. I'm Deb Erickson. I want to be your business mindset coach. And I hope this Ask Deb has given you insight and tools that you need to change your life. See you soon.